So when I was 10 years old, um, my father was shot in the drive-by of a shooting in the city of Compton, California. Well, my grandmother was by far one of the most important things um, to me and in my life. Um, she raised me. Um, I lived with her all my life. I don't have a sad story. I have a great story. I had a lot of people who were basically invested in me succeeding, mainly because other people in my family didn't have the same opportunities. He was taken to the emergency department and he didn't speak English, he only spoke Spanish. No one told him what was going on, no one answered his questions. My father wasn't in the picture. Um, my mother was working and going to school. My mom, in order to help my grandma support seven kids, her and the older siblings had to start working. So she only went to sixth grade. And I remember being 10 years old and thinking to myself, if I were a physician, if I were a doctor that could help someone under these circumstances, there's no way I'd be able to let them go home not understanding anything about what happened in the hospital and how to take care of themselves afterwards. My grandmother passed away in December of 2001. And after she passed away, I was ready to be done with life. Um, I didn't have motivation to do absolutely anything. And shortly after that, I was put out of school um, because of my grades. She's always been very supportive of anything that I wanted to do that meant I would go to school and be successful and make a better life for myself and our family. Since that moment, I decided to go and pursue social, linguistic, and cultural barriers to access to care throughout undergraduate school, which fueled my passion for going into medicine. And now I'm a fourth year medical student at the UC or University of California, San Francisco. Ten years from now, I could say that I will be a successful pediatrician. I'm hoping to be a pediatric uh, intensivist um, and work in a PICU. So I hope that by providing a role model, I'll inspire other students to pursue their dreams. And of course, that for me, that means inspiring them to become surgeons. y'all doing today? Let me get a show of hands. We're gonna ask the questions that you're concerned about. Everybody's timeline is a little bit different. Then help me get into medical school. And you have to have a long-term calendar. There's all these pieces that are being evaluated along the way to see if you're the ideal candidate for that institution. Just by being here today, you are preparing yourselves to being that successful medical practitioner. There's really very little that distinguishes one person from the other on paper. We want to hear your story and we want to know what's unique about you, what's going to make you a great physician, and all of those things are influenced by who we are. I have a story. I have a story. Now I want you to point to the person next to you and say, you have a story. You have a story. On behalf of Prairie A&M University, we really thank you guys and the Tour for Diversity for coming down here and supporting us. And know that your efforts are not in vain and that we will go forward and we will be successful and we will carry on. Yeah.